Well, rate hikes usually make the Australian dollar go up, but it's falling now and went below 68 US cents today for the first time since the depths of the pandemic in June 2020. It's because of forebodings about a recession here and globally. Now, as I pointed out last night, the futures market is expecting the cash rate to hit 3.5% next year. But it's also now betting that the RBA will be cutting rates in the second half of next year. And the market in longer term interest rates is also anticipating a sharp economic slowdown. This is the three-year Australian government bond rate or the market interest rate on government IOUs. Now, those who invest in these things try to predict interest rates in three years' time. And they're starting to think they'll be a lot lower. And on the matter of recessions, it looks like America is already in one. US GDP in the first quarter of this year, up to the end of March, was minus 1.6%. And now the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank's well-regarded prediction tool, called GDP Now, put second quarter GDP at minus 2.1%. Two consecutive negative quarters equals recession. And that led to heavy falls among commodities last night. Oil down nearly 10%, copper 4%, iron ore 3 and gold 2.5%. And the result was some very hefty falls by mining and energy stocks on the Australian share market today. BHP, Rio Tinto, Newcrest, Santos, all down large. While technology stocks like Xero all benefited from the prospect of lower interest rates. US shares went up a bit last night after a day off, but share markets in Asia fell quite heavily. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.